Hello, welcome to the Boss of Single Mom, where we empower moms to be whatever they want to be. I'm your host, Melissa Clayton. Thank you for being here with me today. I'm so excited. I have my brand new friend, Tamara DeOrio, with me. Tamara, go ahead and say hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. This is so exciting. Uh, I'm so excited to have new people on the show. People I just like have no other reason to me other than to be on the podcast. So this is like such a cool connection tool. 10 out of 10 recommend starting your own podcast, everybody, for this very reason. But Tamara, um, let me just tell our audience a little bit about you and then we'll just hear what you have to say. I know you have a really cool story. So here's something about Tamara, right? <laughs> Tamara. <laughs> That was the worst intro ever. Um, okay, Tamara, <laughs> here we go. It's I'm so gonna read, perfect. I'm going to read what you what you told me to read. So here we go. <laughs> read what I told you to read. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tamara's father put a camera in her hand at an early age. So after taking trips around the world, working at ad agencies, and then running her own for a dozen years, Tamara holds her, to her father's belief in the power of positivity, which love that. Though he is no longer with us, his legacy lives on through his daughter. Tamara would become an entrepreneur in her own right and work with others to help them create and inspire others. So Tamara is a mentor, photographer, writer, and mother. Her coaching program, Confidence in Action, helps self-doubting businesswomen become deeply confident so they can show up and market their products without hesitation to scale their business. Tomorrow shares with you her real life. I can do this stories, upbeat words and photos filled with light and energy. These stories give messages of motivation, support and encouragement together. She and her clients work to take control of their own lives by gaining self-confidence. Cannot wait to talk about all these amazing things you do. Yes. So as a side note, she lives just north of Boston by the beach with her family, enjoys carving out her me time without any guilt, shows people how to do the same. So, oh my yeah. gosh, you have nailed down exactly what so many people need in their lives. So I would love for you, Tamara, just to talk really quickly about your program and, you know, anything you want to share with us. I'm, I'm sure it's all very valuable. Well, thank you so much for the fabulous intro. I couldn't have written it better myself. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> I'm telling you, this was, this is meant to be. So I, I basically was sitting at the table one day having a pity party for one. And my seven-year-old daughter, Sophia, looked at me and was like, either basically shit or get off the pot. Like, oh, wow. That's very wise. No, I know. We don't talk yeah. like that in this house, but no. <laughs> um, no potty mouth. But she looked at me and said, why are you looking at all of these pictures that all these other women are selling that are photographers? Like you, you take pictures. Like, why can't you sell your own? And it's something that other people have telling me over years. But when I heard it from her kind of very innocent young eyes mm -hmm. of like, well, why just can't you do that? Like, it, it just seems so obvious to her. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. And the next day she went to school and I looked up a website and I put up my pictures and I posted it on the internet and voila, I sold two. Like what? within 20 minutes, like not even, That's like it took two really seconds. Quickly. Wow. And it just, you just need to start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like that annoying saying that everyone's like, yeah. no, you just need to start. It doesn't yeah, even matter. Like my yeah. website sucked, like everything sucked, but I just mm -hmm. did it. Mm -hmm. And then you learn and then you keep growing and you, and you do better. And it was just my one year anniversary. And looking back then, if I didn't start that day, I would not have sold any I sold mm -hmm. 132 prints so far, that's which incredible. You, like that is incredible. And that's yes. 132 more than I would have ever sold. Exactly. Exactly. And so my, my ego is boosted. My morale is boosted. My, I can do this is boosted. My confidence is boosted. And I've been sharing a lot of these holy, can you believe these stories? Like I, I've been asked to go and shoot for HGTV photo shoots. Like this what? is blowing my mind. And so when you get these opportunities and you're like, oh, I, I can't do that. Like, are you kidding me? And I literally was texting the woman. I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't know who I am. I'm really not that good. I never went to school for this. You should totally get someone else to do this. And then I hit delete. Actually, I think I like pulled back my text because I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> it's that, like, that's like a, such a normal is, first reaction, right? Be like, no, I'm not good enough. Like that imposter this syndrome. Is, it was the stupidest thing I could have ever done because I learned, I figured it I literally was like in the camera store, like texting this woman. And the guy behind the counter was like, buy the camera and figure it out. And I'm like, 
<laughs> okay, so I did. I bought the camera and I'm literally walking into the parking lot with him. I'm like, I don't even know how to use this thing. <laughs> and so I, he, he was like, my wife is a teacher and I called her from the parking lot on Sunday night and I met with her the next morning and you figure it out and you just mm-hmm. do it and you don't stop mm-hmm. and you don't hesitate because otherwise that little voice will be like, why are you doing this? And you're like, but no, I really can. So that's how it started. And I share a lot of these stories on my Instagram feed. And these women were coming up to me saying, oh my God, like I heard your voice in my head. I'm going off to an interview and you're telling me that I can do it. And I, and I know I can. I so that. people were like, well, you should be a coach. You're a coach. Aren't you a coach? And I'm like, I, no, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a coach. <laughs> And so after a bunch of people were like, you should do this. I was like, okay, here I go. And Mm -hmm. so now I'm helping other women to show up in their business uh, with the confidence, knowing that whether they are in front or behind the camera, they can do this. They can show up and take that shot both literally and figuratively (laughs) and, and, you know, present themselves in a manner that shows that they have the confidence in themselves and in their products and that you should buy from them. Right. And this is, This is the balance between, you know, being at home and being the hustle with the mom and, and, you know, whether you're a single mom or married mom or an unhappy pissed off mom. um, (laughs) I've been all those things. There's so many stages. (laughs) (laughs) And I think I've shared a lot of stories of also taking me time without the guilt. And there's so, I mean, like, girl, we could talk for days. I mean, I know this podcast has a limit to it, but I think (laughs) some of the kind of the, the, the cheats sheets that I've done Mm -hmm. are those times when you're in the moment of like I can't do this what am I thinking of and you you've already made this sheet where it's like do you remember the time when you when you gave birth or when you had that project or you did that presentation and you got that raise or you asked for that job and you look at that sheet and you're like I've done that and I've lived through those days that really Mm -hmm. sucked and I can do this like this Mm -hmm. is nothing and you kind of hype yourself up and you remind yourself, you've done this stuff, you can do this and you will move on. Tomorrow's another day. You know, even bad days just suck for the day. And then, you know, tomorrow might be another shitty yeah. day, but like you get mm. through them, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, I think what's so, I love that you are saying all these things because, you know, life inevitably gets hard. There's going to be something on any, some level that is like some sort of adversity or something to break through. Yeah. And when I'm like, I am in the midst of a lot of hard stuff for me personally, as you know, and the one thing I can say is I'm, I know I'm going to try not to cry right now. I know I'm going to look back and I'm going to be so thankful for all these things because if I, you know, I can do hard things, I'm going to prove it to myself right now. And I'll have the pleasure, you know, like in five years, hopefully when all this is long gone of looking back and be like, I freaking did that. And I'm going to do like, come on, what else you got? You know what I mean? Like there's nothing that's that hard. So it's just, it, it sucks, but I feel like it's such a necessary part of being a human being is you have to like go through the hard to like be better, you know? And mm-hmm. I think that's what life is all about. So I'm so grateful that you just said all this is you the said. middle. This is like, yeah. I hate those before and after pictures. Yeah. You're like, oh, this is, you know, and I'm like, yeah. no, 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 no. Girl, how, how did you get? there what about the journey? you know and you just mm-hmm. said exactly it, that I know what's going on mm-hmm. and you have the confidence to share this crappy part mm-hmm. in the middle mm-hmm. where you're going through a separation you're going through all these challenges with your children and mm-hmm. and you're doing it respectfully right you're coming on here and you're sharing your message and you're not you know you're saying it in a tone where like <laughs> if if they were in the room yeah, they would hear that, you know, like, and your kids yeah. like, but you know, like if your kids hear this, because you yeah. know, we, we, okay. yeah. have, so so like, we need to be respectful, but mm-hmm. these are the shitty times that you go through and you remind yourself how awesome you are mm-hmm. and that today sucks that there's always going to be a tomorrow and that you have another chance to be that amazing mom. You know, it's really interesting because I was reading a lot of your single parenting points and I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm married, but like, mm-hmm. whatever, you know, like we all have our own <laughs> yeah. balance of, of yes. what marriage is. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that those are the points where you're like, I've, I've been through um, those days where I have to show my kids that I can not only show up for myself, but for them, mm-hmm. right. To reinvent yourself mm-hmm. um, when you're kind of getting through this stage mm-hmm. and to, to boss up and show that, you know, like, this is, this is my start over. This is my, I'm going to do this over again button. And you know what? 
things are things and this is reality and we are going to have some freaking fun now right like, <laughs> yeah. you don't yeah. want every day to be debbie downer right and you just think about like well what can i don't want to go to bed upset or depressed or crying right i want to go to bed with a plan so when i lay down in bed i literally am like okay whether or not today sh- you know sucked like these are the bad points like i'm not going to hone in on that i'm just going to think okay how can I make to bed tomorrow better? Mm-hmm. When I wake up, what's the first thing I'm going to do so that I have a plan and I wake up, I'm like, okay, this is going to be awesome. Today's going to be great because I'm going to start it off with X, Y, Z. Mm-hmm. And that could be being cool mom. Like, even if you're by yourself, like putting on some loud, crazy music at seven in the morning and like hyping yourself up and like, you know, doing like having waffles and ice cream for breakfast oh you're you know, cool like mom okay changing it up breaking <laughs> yeah, the mold, being that. totally just nuts like ha- like be that ferris bueller's day off like mm-hmm. shake it up a little bit and show your your kids if they're there or show yourself like we can be i'm not i'm not sitting on my bed crying mom like i am you know there's days for that for sure yeah, yeah. we can see the good and the bad but you know, just changing it up, like racing them to go get dressed for, you know, school that day or, or just shaking it off. Like bottom line is like, this sucks and it will get better, but you know what? Let's not wallow in it for so long. Like, let's have some fun with it. And, and even if you're married or not, like I went and took some me time. Like I just, I was like, this is what I'm doing. I'm going. And my husband's like, well, I have a dentist appointment. And I was like, well, you'll just have to figure that out. <laughs> You're a big boy. Let's go. I'm not going to le- not go yeah. for two days because you have a dentist Dentist's appointment for one hour, you know, mm-hmm. like, so, and, and, and that whole guilt with the kids thing, I sat them down. They're seven and nine. I have a boy and a girl and I very just real, you know, real conversation. I just said, Hey, I'm, I need to go and read some books by myself and just spend some mommy time alone. And, um, I'm just going to go for one or two nights. Like, are you, are you cool with that? And they're like, sure. Yeah, bye mom. But if you don't ask, you don't know. And then you make up this like, oh, they're going to miss me so much. And, you know, they can't live without me. Or, you know, like even when you separate, like you are now, you know, maybe splitting time or co-parenting. And if you have that real conversation with them, no matter their age, you just level to where they are. You meet them where they are, right? Yes, that's so good intention. I just feel like at the core of everything that we do to be better and live like our best life is intentionality and like, some boundaries mixed in there, you know? And like, I just think that's like the more I learn about myself and I don't know, even like just scrolling Instagram, if you get on the right accounts, right? Like you can see there's this like recipe and it's resonating with all these people. And at some, some point you just have to just commit to it in in all areas of your life. So it's it's really important. Yeah. Um, Wow. I'm really excited for the next part of the interview, which (laughs) is hearing about your entrepreneurial journey, but I really have some really surface level stuff. I just (laughs) crack you open a little bit more. Oh, good. So, okay. What's, like your dream, what's your dream car? Ooh, um, the one I'm in will, uh, the previous version, I have a Range Rover. I bought oh, okay. it used. It's mm-hmm. 10 years old and I, I paid it off. Yes. Um, and I love it, but I even like them older, like boxier, like the real mm-hmm. kind of rugged terrain style. Like mm-hmm. I'm a little, I'm a little r- rough like rider. Like a Jeep or a Bronco yeah. or yeah. something like that. Yeah. 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 I love but that. Still okay. like, still like the mom car. Like I need, I want oh, three no. rows, you know, like yeah. give me more. <laughs> give me all Give the me room <laughs> okay. for the ladies for the ladies <laughs> what about beach or mountains which one's your preference? oh beach girl beach yeah. beach, beach all beach, day long right beach, 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 beach. <laughs> I don't care where I don't care anything be, uh, like, uh, bikini fo- a camera yeah oh, I mean really sure. yeah you're my people okay I like yeah. you okay what is um cardio or weights when you're working out Ooh, both yeah. I've been obsessed with Peloton boot camp. Okay. I've heard such good things about that. I have been too. This is the to girl who was out. like boot camp. That's stupid. I'm not doing that. I'm on a bike <laughs> yeah. and, and I run and I run and I run on the beach and I love that mm-hmm. every day. In fact, you know what? I do both. I mm-hmm. in one day, like I'll start okay. off at five o'clock in the morning and I ride my bike. I do the Peloton and um, Robin is a beast mm-hmm. and, so and Cody's like the easiest. So I'm like, in yeah. the spectrum. You know, yeah. like it depends on the mood, right? Like if yeah. I need a good laugh, I need a, I need a hug. I need a friend. I'm like Cody all the way. But if I need like an ass kicking, it's yeah. Robin. Or Alex. Have you done Alex's? He's like, yes. I feel like the way he talks to you is sometimes like I've cried so many times during his rides. Cause it's like, you can do hard. Like he's just is like so motivational when he does his rides. I'm like, okay, 
I just love that Peloton has like this huge gamut of people, depending on what your needs are for that day. Mm -hmm. What do you need to hear and knowing who you can go to? So I love that. Cool. Uh, beverage of choice, alcoholic or otherwise. Your God, I went straight to wine. <laughs> I um, get that a lot. I'm not going to lie. I have 37 cups of tea a day. Oh, um, for anyone who's watching, I've got my <laughs> mug right next to me. It's Minions. like the gallon yeah. size, by the way. It's like I the size things. of my head. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a, I'm a one cup of coffee in the morning, girl. I'm a tea throughout the day. I love a good glass of wine. But you know what? I've been doing like the healthy, like no sugar wine kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Fit Ooh. vine. Oh, is um, that a thing? Like, yeah. Oh. So it's got fewer sugar and calories and carbs and all that. So I feel better the next day. Yeah. That's the problem with wine, right? A little hangover. I'm a little too old for that. Oh, I can have three bottles tonight. We're fine. <laughs> and um, there's no sugar. We're fine. But like it, you know, like you, when you're on your Peloton at five in yeah. the morning, it's like <laughs> balances out. So that's right. Everything is balanced. Yeah. And if anyone um, could see your shirt right now, Miss Oh, yeah. Rose, Rose in the USA. <laughs> yeah. So I know where you heard that. I love that. I know. <laughs> And okay. that's pajamas, by the way. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Rose all day, all night. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, okay. What? Um, let's see. I didn't know this is going to be so boring. I, I know. <laughs> yeah. This sucks. These people should just turn this off. It's terrible. What song always gets you out on the dance floor? Oh gosh. Um, I'm, 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 I'm not really hip with the pop 40 mm -hmm. stuff. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I was having lunch the other day next to Justin Bieber and didn't know it. I'm Shut like, up. The only okay. people in the world who's like, oh, that guy with the tattoos. Oh, um, you know, I love a good Justin Bieber. Uh, I love a good Justin Timberlake song. Mm -hmm. Oh, the happy song, the Pharrell song. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm yeah. honestly, I am not a song girl. Okay. I don't listen to podcast or like like um, Spotify. Like mm -hmm. I'm not like, yeah. Interesting. You I love know, that you I'm, just know I'm that probably, about yourself. Yeah. Like, not your you thing. know what I do? My cheat, like, okay, for example, like if I need to make a reels and I need a song, mm -hmm. I'm riding my Peloton and I take pictures of the songs that I like. And then that way, when I need a song, I can just go back. But honestly, like the most music I listen to is on my Peloton. I love that. Okay. That's fair enough. You know, um, how about celebrity crush? How are we doing with that? Well, who was your first one? Oh, <laughs> Joey from New Kids on the Block. <laughs> That's super popular. That's a good wow. answer. But you know what's hot, even right? weirder? Bye. You Bye. know how I told you? Know how I told you about the HGTV photo shoot that uh -huh. I did? Yeah, it's with Jonathan Knight. What? New Kids on the Block. No way! In the, area, in the area in Northern Mass, and he's on an HGTV show called Farmhouse Fixer uh -huh. with my girlfriend. Christina, who's an interior designer for HGTV. Oh, okay, wow, you and have some good connections. This is this is the opportunity yeah. thing. Yeah. This is like yeah. the, I have no idea what I'm doing, yeah. and it worked. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's whole nother so cool. podcast. Sorry, my there's like dogs barking. I'm having a hard time, but um, I love. So that's the thing about life and business and success. It's always about who you know. Like you could go to like a crappy school, but if you have a great network, you know what I mean, or like whatever. I can't even make your this network. one up. Yeah. I was, I went to go get coffee and I, I'm in a shorts and t-shirt and I randomly just, I was like, oh, look, I just, I just started my print photography business. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, look, there's an interior designer thinking they'll want repeat business for multiple clients to have multiple prints. Right. Mm -hmm. I knock on the door. I have no clue who this woman is. I didn't even have a business card. I'm in flip-flops and a coffee. And, um, I was like, oh, hi. Her, she wasn't even there. And her sister was like, well, you know, I'll, I'll let her know you stop by. I'm like, okay, go back <laughs> cool. home. Like nothing, Not nothing. about it. Yeah. She reached out to me, sent the nicest note, looked up my website, you know, doesn't use really photography in, in her, in her design, but wouldn't you know it, she needed a photographer to do a shoot. Mm. And that's how it starts. Well, I mean, and that's, that's when they're always, it's always those saying yes to those seemingly small things. See, going, going up the first the coffee step, is so worth the action. It. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> um, speaking about you as an entrepreneur, what's your big goal? Like, tell me about it. Like, what lights you up? Well, the goals have changed over mm -hmm. time. And now this one is supporting women. And mm -hmm. that is what lights me up. The more that I can help others, the more I'm helping myself. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. that, <laughs> that cyclical thing, that right? Cyclical or, yeah. Thing. yeah. Um, I have had such a, just a thrill, like 
I am on such a high. And now I have, I have women that are moving from um, being real estate agents to transitioning to building a cancer career, uh, you know, cancer coach. Like mm-hmm. it is, it is moving. It is heartwarming. It is, it is so thrilling to see um, these women like come up with new, new creative ideas and, and insights and, and like digging deep. And I get to be a part of that. And that is so cool. So if I can work with more and more and more women to do this, I am psyched. It's like hugest psyched. impact ever, right? Like, because it's just it's like trickle down, like you impacted one woman who had a win, 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 bigger, win which is huge. Yeah. It just makes the world a better place. What biggest success that you mean? anything, it doesn't have to be, I have no idea what I mean by that question. Just what is a huge success? I mean, in life. Yeah. I'm not going to do the whole kids thing. I'm not going (laughs) to, I mean, that's a good given, right? Yeah, 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 Um, yeah. I think, I think it's this, it's this ability to have the, the, the sheer confidence in myself. And I feel like when I say I don't have those darn limiting beliefs or the self-doubt, I I say that and I'm like, I know I don't have that. But when I say it, it almost sounds weird and fake or a lie. Yeah. And because when people, when I come into coaching programs, because I'm in them too, Mm -hmm. or or talk to other women and they're like, well, how do you literally not have it? I'm like, because I don't, I don't need to, and I don't want to. And I almost don't even want to talk about them because I don't even want to like entertain them or bring them into my head. And even my mom, she's like, I don't know where you came from. Like, what? And, it, and I didn't always have this. Like there was some point, and I think it was maybe the transition from high school to college where I was like, I am, I am meant for more than this. And I knew I needed to leave and break free and start over and, and something triggered. And if I could sell that and, and I am selling that, mm-hmm. but I think it is my, my, my success is the ability to believe in myself because I don't know how easy that is to come across and to yeah. surely purely believe that you can do it. And I think that's a beautiful thing. And I want to help others have it. I think that's incredible. Like I, there's, I've said this many times to people, like if I had been fed the words that I, you know, like that I worked yes. so hard to tell myself now, like developmentally, I feel like I'd be freaking unstoppable because I do bring a lot to the table, but there's always, and for so many people, right. There's always this negative self-talk or doubt or, you know, the hater in your head that just always gets in the way, always creates so many, you know, self-sabotage. There's so many things that can come from it. If you can, that the biggest thing you could possibly do is believe in yourself as much as other people believe in you. And that is just like a priceless, priceless thing that we as a human could ever have. So that's a huge success. What about your biggest failure and the lesson that you found there? I mean, I look at businesses. I, I mean, the word failure is so strong. Can you use another word? Yeah. It's not even like, it's more like a lesson. What was your biggest lesson? Because I you feel know, like failures think, are never really failures. I, yeah, they're, they're learning lessons. You know, I forever was in the events industry mm-hmm. working for clients on their experiential programs, right? So like bringing bringing the brand to life. And for a long time, I was self-employed. And I mean, like a 13 years yeah. working for clients. And I always dreamt of doing my own event. And it would be, everything would be mine. Like the concept um, presented by yeah. Tamara and yeah. it would be, ticket sold by Tamara and come to this thing by Tamara and I would be the host and I would do everything, which meant I needed to get all the insurance liability and the police permitting and all, the all of that, right? yeah. stuff that is yeah. not easy and affordable. Mm. And I'm a team of one. Mm-hmm. And so, and this was, you know, let's say 10 years ago when I was having this concept and it never came to fruition. Mm-hmm. I mean, I got close with things like smaller things, but not the dream that I had. Right, right. And that still is in me, whether I remember or realize that or not, that's still burning in me. And I think that is a big motivator for where I am now. Mm-hmm. 
I launched my own print photography business. I'm doing my coaching business. And I think these are things that I can put my stamp on. This is my work. I took that picture. I printed that picture. I framed that picture. In fact, that's mine. I, Hang I've on the been looking at the entire time. I knew you were going to say that. And that it. is yeah. something that is driving me like crazy. It is my fuel. It is my passion. And mm -hmm. I think when you really want something and it doesn't come it still manifests inside you. Mm -hmm. And, and I think someday, whether you know it or not, in some weird way, it presents itself again. Mm. And I think that second time you don't let it go or that third time or that fourth yeah, time. Yeah, sometimes it's like, it's been a dozen times, but I'm going to get it right. You know, yeah. like exactly. Yeah. When it will happen. Yes. So good. When you first started as an entrepreneur, if you could go back yeah, on whatever that big, you know, yeah moment was what what advice would you give yourself go for it mm, mm -hmm. who cares yes who cares about anything who cares mm -hmm. about other people's opinions who cares about your own opinion like you have nothing to, especially at an earlier age when you don't have the mortgage and the kids and all the crap mm -hmm. that goes along with it mm -hmm. just go mm -hmm. literally anything you want really interesting other people have said you know i really loved music but i was always told why are you playing around with this thing go and go and do go get a job you know the worst advice can ever. you imagine <laughs> if they actually had yeah. studied music gone to school for music built music and oh, done yeah. and been a yeah. music producer and gone famous for that yeah follow if your passion that is your yeah. passion if that mm -hmm. is your calling if that is what you're meant to do why would you listen to anybody else mm -hmm. Even if it's a parent, yeah. you know what I mean? And even now when I look at my kids, you want to draw? Great. You want to you wanna put on that clothes? Great. Go for it. I don't know where it's going to go, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to tell you. Mm -hmm. You can or can't do that. I mean, within reason. <laughs> yeah, if you're safe, we're good. Yeah. Today, my, yeah. my daughter saw this dress. Oh, we got a bag of hand-me-downs. She wanted this one dress. And I was like, girl, no, we're giving that away. I'm not good. It's, it's, not, it's not cute in yeah. my eyes. Yep. Who am I to say what she can wear and not wear? Mm -hmm. She and that just worn it like four days she in loves a row. It. She loves she it. Loves I know. It. And you I know, do that too. if that's going to, she's so into fashion and design and creativity, if that's sparking some ideas and if she loves to wear it and she feels confident in it mm -hmm. today at camp, she got a bullseye in archery and her face in that dress with that bullseye is priceless. I want I to it. frame it. I love it. And, and, and like when they have our confidence mm -hmm. in what she wants to wear and let her wear the dress and go to camp and get a bullseye. Hallelujah. I know. Hallelujah. It. Yep. The, the, the most successful people look back, I feel, and say, I was allowed to express myself or to explore my interests. And that's like where things flourish. That's how people become Yep. Really, really incredible. I think in my, in my experience. So a one little, last question, a little bit more. Yes. A little yeah, bit. More, yes. I mean, it can make, it can make a difference. It's yep. not to say that if you didn't have that or whatever, but it, yep. I think it can make all the difference. The last question, I know you've listened to the podcast, so you probably are ready for this. <laughs> what does bossed up mean to get to you? Strong woman supporting other strong women, right. Or other women to become mm -hmm. stronger. Right. Because it's not just me bossing up and showing others how to do it. It's also supporting others to do it with them. Yeah. The word boss can have so many weird connotations, right? I'm not bossy. I'm the boss. Mm. You know, there's all different ways of using it in a sentence. Mm -hmm. I think as a solo entrepreneur, that word boss can mean so many things too. Yeah. I own this. I am the boss. Bossing up means doing the damn thing. Yes. <laughs> so like I started this company, I need to do it. I need to sell it. I need to market it. I need to talk about it. And that's the up part. 